EPR is a, a concept that uh, Dr. Navio, um, you know, developed and wrote about over time. You know, of course, he took many other people's ideas and, and put them together in a context. But to me, to me, it's an explanation of the of how your body heals. Generally, every day, you know, re, um, repair work, the general repair work that happens every night when you sleep. Dr. Navio calls that the health cycle, you know, Sorry. and the cell danger response is the stuff that you do after you've gotten an illness or a real injury, he calls um, the healing response. And that's where the cell danger issue comes in. You know, okay, that's where this um, choreographed uh, mitochondrial uh, response to injury happens. So the most important part of this for most people is the idea that the mitochondria are not just making energy. Okay. So I think that's the thing. We all learned to have this idea that our mitochondria are energy production cell organelle in the body. And that when your energy is low, it's because your mitochondria are sick. Yeah you know, or damaged. The, 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 the big news for people is that Dr. Navio is telling us that when you are ill and you have this, what we call sickness behavior, you're tired, you're, um, you can't think straight, you got that brain fog, ache all over, you know, that, that you don't really want to deal with other people. You know, you just want to like be alone, that's sickness behavior. We see it in animals, uh, you see it in one cell organisms. That is being choreographed by your mitochondria. It's not just the mitochondria are um, got infected and now they're not making energy. No, they have actually decided to make less energy and to create um, and, and to make less ATP. So that is the, the heart of the cell danger response is that your mitochondria when you're ill are not sick. Even when you're chronically ill, they're working like they're supposed to. The problem is when you're chronically ill, you're in a bit of a dysfunctional system, you know? And when you get acutely ill, this is how the system was designed to make you lie down, hang out in the corner, not want to interact with other people, not want to eat much, you know, that's sickness behavior. The problem with sickness behavior as patients with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue and other illnesses find out is that when it stays, it's not helpful anymore. For two or three days, lying in bed and not talking to other people is sort of like your body's natural uh, quarantine. You know, <laughs> you're just not going to expose the rest of your family and your tribe and your society to what made you sick.